Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Aquarius's their monthly love read for June 2022. Um, I know I'm a few days behind schedule, so I apologize guys, but um, we're going to get information about the person on your mind. We're going to get thoughts and feelings, blockages, actions, and outcomes. It's a little condensed, um, but then we're going to get some oracle cards, message cards, and a heart songs card for um of the 90s from celestial forecast by carrie so um these are general reads guys so please keep in mind that these are general take what resonates and leave the, the rest um sorry i'm tr i was trying to talk and shuffle at the same time and i keep rip thinking like oh i gotta do this like row by row but um take what resonates leave the rest if you feel like this is not your read check your moon and your rising excuse me if you're unsure of what your moon and your rising signs are there is a link in the description box below that can give you that information there's also a link in the description box below to give you um, a link to my personal page if you're interested um so thanks so much guys for watching i appreciate you being here please like share comment and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so but i appreciate your support so much all right so Aquarius says what is the person on your mind thinking and feeling um, the person on your mind is thinking and feeling um, confused. <laughs> um, I feel like this person, uh, I think they think you might have a lot of options, guys. I feel like they're a little confused and they think you might have a lot of options. I feel like they have kind of pulled themselves out uh, away and put themselves into some solitude um, because they're really not sure what to do. So they're kind of deeply contemplating and reflecting on the situation of what should I do with this Aquarius situation? Um, I feel like they know that they might be a little bit uh, immature compared to you. Um, and they're very slow moving. So I think they definitely want stability, right? They want commitment. They want loyalty. They want to offer you um, something real. But they're really kind of confused. I think they think you have a lot of options. Um, so they're kind of just not necessarily moving at the moment. They're healing. They're they're getting clarity. They're learning. Um, but they definitely feel and want a stable, committed, loyal situation with you. What's blocking this situation besides slow movement? <laughs> What's blocking this situation for Aquarius's? So we have the Five of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Page of Wands. So what's blocking you guys? Um, I feel like I feel like this is a twin flame connection. Um, to be honest, I feel like um, there's definitely been a missed opportunity. We have the Five and the Four of Cups. Um, I feel like there's been a missed opportunity between the two of you already. So I think this is going to be someone that you know. Um, I guess it could be someone that you never really dated but missed an opportunity that somehow went under the radar. But um, And you might not be like, oh, I know exactly who that is. But it might be someone that when you come together, you're going to realize, oh, my gosh, our cross paths so many times and I didn't even notice or what. I don't even know what happened. But um, so the blockage is that this is a missed opportunity. Um, and it's caused some sadness or um, uh, apathy in your life or where you feel like you watched all that you've had kind of wash away, but you really do still have more. You're just not paying attention to it. So I feel like someone is feeling like um, or the blockage is that someone is feeling like uh, they missed out on what they wanted. I feel like this is a twin flame connection and I feel like... Um, that is what's kind of happening in terms of blockages. If you know anything about twin flame connections, you know there's like a runner and a chaser. So I feel like right now, um, it's just not, you guys are just not coming together just yet. Um, I also see uh, some flirty, passionate, sexy behavior kind of being the blockage. So I think, honestly, Aquarius, is your person thinks you have a lot of options. They see you as this flirty, sexy person that's out there having fun. And they're really just not sure what to do. And they're making very slow and steady movements towards you because they are... Um, unsure of what to do because they think you have lots of options or you may not be interested in them. What actions are they going to take towards you? Because right now they're not doing much. <laughs> 
What actions are they going to take towards you? The tower, the moon, ooh, the seven of swords and the eight of swords. Oh my gosh, guys. And the page of swords again on the bottom. This is all shown up twice. I'm not really doing bottom of the deck energy, but this has just popped up twice already. So I feel like they're keeping their distance from you guys. They are watching you from a distance. They are keeping tabs on what you're doing, who you're hanging out with, probably through social media or through friends of friends. Um, I feel like they are definitely... Um, <laughs> They're kind of sabotaging themselves, really. Um, I do think they will be talking about what they really feel. Um, I think what they are really feeling will come to light and they will unexpectedly share this with you and you'll feel like your world just got turned and flipped upside down. But right now what your person is doing is lying and deceiving themselves. They are sabotaging themselves. They are putting themselves in a false imprisonment with their mind. They see themselves as bounded and blindfolded and unable to move forward. But those are all lies that they're telling themselves. That's all lies. So the actions that, I mean, they're really kind of stuck. But the one other thing is we have three swords here and swords is communication. But um, I do think this person will be reaching out um, unexpectedly after some things become apparent to them um, or things are uncovered and, and are exposed. So I'm not clarifying this time. Um, I want to clarify, but if I clarify, all these reads will be way too long. So I'm not. Pardon me. <sighs> Pardon me, pardon me. But I think that um, when they address their true feelings, it's going to blow you out of the water. It's going to be something you don't expect. But I think they're waiting for certain things to kind of be revealed. I almost feel like they're going to be like doing this page of swords energy, like watching, listening about you and your situation. And then they're going to find out that you really don't have all these people that they think that you have. Um, and then they're going to come forward and tell you how they feel. And then you're going to be like, explosion. <laughs> explosion. What's going to be the outcome between Aquarius and their person? What's going to be the outcome? Because this looks a little bit bumpy. But I mean, it's a twin flame connection. So, you know, <laughs> those are bumpy. What are going to be the outcomes? What's going to be the outcome? Four of Pentacles, the Lovers, the King of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Freaking Cups. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. Pate or Knight of Cups underneath that. King of Wands underneath that. I love Six of Cups. I love it. I love it, guys. Okay, so um, I definitely see a love offer. I definitely see a soulmate, a long-term commitment, a marriage coming out of this situation um I definitely see there being some hesitance right I feel like this someone is gonna still be a little hesitant um in terms of opening themselves up but once this choice is made once this choice and love is made to open up to allow this soulmate energy in to allow this well it's twin flame really energy come in um, allow this true love to open your heart, Aquarius. You're going to recognize that this outcome is going to be stable. It's going to be committed. It's going to be loyal. It's going to be with someone who wants to be a caretaker, or someone who wants to care for you, provide for you. Uh, and you're going to want to do all those same, same things with them. You're going to realize that it was it's like stable and real and loyal. And I think it's going to be like unlike anything you really had before this person's going to want to work as your teammate they're going to want to work together they're going to want to build together they're going to want to create together um, this is a team player this is someone who truly is in love with you and wants to give you everything that they can and they are going to do it with support and they want to financially help you and it's going to be a, a ten of cups situation with the knight of cups offer this is a romantic proposal uh um you can see he came in on a white horse with roses and he has a picnic basket with a bottle of wine a love letter and a bowl of food or something so this person definitely is going to be offering you 
a, a true love commitment and they're gonna be really passionate about it and they're a soul connection which we already know all right we're gonna get a couple of destined love oracle cards by ayana spiritual babe tarot and what does aquarius need to see out of here introverted yeah maybe that's what the issue is maybe that's why there's so many pentacles because your person is just kind of introverted and you're not <laughs> oh oh here we go nostalgia which is that six of cups card and loyal yes 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 guys i feel it i feel it i feel it coming oh that's a weekend song too right i feel it coming uh we have white rose guidance divine love message volume two facing my reflection is more than i can handle i think that is that deceptions and lies that self-sabotage I don't think they necessarily did anything horrible. I just think they're just really in their head. All I ever wanted and needed is you. Oh, that one just fell off the top. It is easier to stay away from me, uh, stay away now than lose you later. I think that was the missed opportunity. I feel like that's what someone did before and it's been, it was wrong. Like it's a missed opportunity. Like they really screwed things up. All right, let's get a, you have my heart, soul lovers and separation from angelic revelation 144. So guys, if you're feeling like this is someone from your past or a soul from your past, um, this message is for you. If you feel like this is like no one, you have no idea, um, it's got to be a new person coming, then you can kind of just jump through this next part. But um, this is the message. These are the messages that popped out. I'm involved with someone else and it wouldn't be fair to either of you to pursue our connection at this time. Okay. Well, that could be another reason why they're not moving very quickly, right? I know that I need to make amends for my mistakes and I'm contemplating how to do this. I want to show you how much you mean to me. One more. Oh, whoa. I think of you before I sleep. I dream of you all night and wake to think of you again. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And then the bottom of the deck says, loving you is knowing that what true love is. There's no logical explanation for my feelings. My heart only responds to yours. You are my endless love. I think Pisces just got that one too, guys. All right. Wow. <laughs> We're going to finish off your read Aquariuses with the heart songs of the 90s from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. So these are songs from the 90s. Um... The song itself might resonate with you specifically. Like you might say, that's like my favorite song from the 90s. Or um, it might be that you think of someone specifically when you hear the song to verify that this is meant for you. Or it could be you just need to listen to the lyric. So your song guy is, oh, I love this song. And oh, oh, if wishes came true by Sweet Sensation. Um, I love you madly. I need you badly. Give our love one more chance. If wishes came true and all the dreams at night of love were real, I'd be holding you. If wishes came true, then I would be that someone always special in your heart. We would still be lovers, not apart. Two references of dreams in here, guys. Two references of dreams. And, you know, sometimes this can represent dreams. Well, all right, Aquariuses, I hope you enjoyed this read. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. I appreciate your guys' support so, so, so much. Um, and I hope you're happy, Kita. I uh, put this out first uh, for you. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this read. Take care, and until next time, bye-bye.